Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a book out of some old sheet music I had. To start, I folded the pages in half to make some signatures. I think I made roughly five or six, so it's not that long of a book, but it's more for the look, since half of the pages are unusable anyway because they have sheet music on them. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't just use printer paper. So, after I folded the pages in half, I made sure they were all even, then I put wood on top of them and weighed them down with some finishes to get even markings for the holes, and for some reason I didn't record it, but I cut the side of the binding with a knife to get all the holes in even places. And then I started stitching, and this was this was really tedious. For some reason, the technique I used to make the holes, which was cutting it with a knife, didn't quite get through all of the pages. So almost every time, I had to go through the hole twice with the needle, often stabbing myself in the finger, and... I wasn't really sure how to do this, so I just kind of figured a technique out that worked for me. Also, the string would always knot up in weird places, and it was so fine that I could never untie it. So I had to cut it at one point, and then that's why I had to use two pieces rather than one piece of string. So, you know, overall, it was pretty, pretty interesting, but... Once you get in the flow of book binding and doing the stitching part, it's it's fun for sure. The only thing is that it's impossible to get into the flow because there's always something else that you need to fix and there's always a needle that's unthreading itself, but it wasn't terrible. Here you see me doing my best to knot off the piece that was too short and adding a new piece of thread to continue stitching. I, I probably should have googled something online on how to do bookbinding, but this technique just seemed to work for me. So what I'm doing is I'm going in and out on the stitches, and then I'm going into the next signature across the next hole out of that signature and then into the one before across it probably doesn't make any sense honestly you should just watch a YouTube video on it by someone who actually knows what they're doing once I got to the end which I think I no never mind there's one more signature after watching this back you, you really realize how long this took. This is sped up 20 times. And I didn't even include all the clips. I tried burning it to make it bigger on the outside, and then that way it wouldn't pull back in. But that didn't work, so then I tried doing some knotting on one side, and then just burning that. And then on the very beginning, that knot had pulled loose, so I had to also burn that. It, it worked out. Here I'm putting the signature in a vise to attach the piece that supports the spine. And just using scrap piece of paper, cutting it in half, and just saturating it completely in PVA glue, or bookbinding glue, whatever you want to call it. Here's a nice overexposed shot. And I used a bit too much glue, but it's fine. You can never have too much glue. The wood kind of became a little bit weak in places, but it worked out fine in the end because I covered it with leather. And if you're making a hardcover, here's where you would attach the cardboard pieces to the front and back and spine of the book, but I didn't have any of that cardboard, so I just decided to cover it directly in leather. You saw me mark out the size of the leather earlier on. And I didn't do that very well at all uh, because 
as you, you will be able to see later, it fell a little bit short. Here, just drenching the leather and PVA glue, trying to get it everywhere. And then realizing that that would be pointless, so trying to get it just close to the edges. And then trying to wipe off the glue off the leather didn't work too well. It's It looks a little rustic, but, you know, I'm fine with that. Here, I used to be trying to get rid of the piece parts of paper that were extending past the leather and this kind of worked but I really should have put a wood, piece of wood there here I'm using a really expensive weight to uh, weigh down this paper but it wasn't heavy enough so I just used a mallet instead I tried to cut each page individually to make it even and that didn't work either so then I went back to the chisel technique, but this time I used a piece of wood to make sure that it was all square and all straight. And this worked much better. However, it still wasn't perfect, so it, it has some rustic charm. Definite rustic charm. But, you know, it adds value, so it's fine. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time.